why I, I had <laughs> I had stuff all over like hair in my mouth. Sorry. <laughs> we try to get things done before. Like, before the you video. should see us before we start a video. Like we're, we're like. Shut like... <laughs> <laughs> up, fuckers! Or like try to. Yeah. <laughs> We always, it's really funny. We're always like looking and like sometimes like because she cuts it out. Like, and so you'll see at the beginning of the video, like we're like, wait, wait, we're sure. <laughs> yeah. We are here for our two reads for December. Can you believe we are in December? It is so crazy. We started this in what? February. February. I think the year. I want to say end of February, actually. So mm. closer to March, I believe. We'll have to double because check. Because it was during quarantine and we were like, we love to read. Let's Why the heck didn't we start this, this child for fun? earlier in quarantine? I don't Cause know. Because we were reading like crazy crazy yeah and now I we're back know. to regular life reality and it's Isn't like that funny oh God, and so like hard. you guys we were so nervous to film like the first we were like oh my god we're gonna be like so stupid we're gonna sound <laughs> dumb we're gonna be fat we're gonna be like our family is gonna make fun of us yeah like and now it's funny I feel really comfortable like yeah. is it weird like and they did like I remember we were watching YouTube videos on starting a YouTube channel, and people are like, "Listen, at first you're gonna be horrible. You're gonna say stupid things. You're gonna not be good. You're gonna, you know." And they said that you get comfortable, and it's funny because I do like because at first I was like, "We're gonna like just feel weird like talking to ourselves well, or by the thing ourselves." Is our but I feel like I'm talking to you. I've been so kind, so I think yes. that has helped. In our journey of we thank you our for that fun YouTube channel. This is just our it's fun. fun. It's for fun, and um, it really it gets us reading more. And honestly, it does. And um, and we're sorry when we slack off a little bit, and we try not to. But sometimes our, life happens yeah. for us, and we try, we try, we try, we really do. Anyway, we're here. I can't believe Christmas is around the corner. It's like nuts, but. We are going to be giving you our to be reds for the month of December. Now, we she's still finishing up some in um, for November. We said previously in other videos, we've kind of had a, a rough couple of weeks um, just with ER visits and um, I'm having surgery, this and stuff. Like, I had a these, wedding. Weddings. So, we had yeah. a wedding um, a week ago. Was that a week ago already? Mm -hmm. Gosh. Um, I was in, in it, it, so I was gone. And for a couple of days. it's just been kind of a crazy time. So we thank you for bearing with us. We're sorry it's been a little bit since we've been here, but we we're getting busy. So she's finishing Crescent City, oh. Savage Lands. Oh my gosh, by Stacey Marie Brown. So she can't. We can't. We can't talk much we about can't. it. I haven't dived into it yet, but she has been raving about Savage I loved Lands. It. I did. And one of our users, where is the book? Didn't bring it oh, up. I didn't because it's not in our to be read. Oh, oh, that's right. One of our users thanked us for recommending. Yes. You are welcome um, for recommending Savage Lands because and she enjoyed it. This is, I believe, a self-published author. And um, oh gosh, another user. Oh, I can look you up. Um, I'm totally. I'm so sorry. What? Ah, what's your name? Um, you put up there. You wanted to hear how we felt about it before if you would give it a go. I love Savage Lands. I did. She told me all she wants to read right now is Savage Lands. I do. I and there. Mm -hmm. So there's four books right now. Yes. At least that I know of. You just I, said that they're gonna have I a fifth. Think, I think. I think. Sorry. I think. Did you burp? No <laughs> hiccup. <laughs> I think um, there is a book five. I haven't really dived into it, but so far there's four books. I um, even looked to see. We if only have books. three right now. But we will. Okay. So yes, Savage Lands. This is not the review for it, but I really enjoyed it. I really did. I'll get more into it on the review once she has read it. And I read it really quick. So I think when she gets it, I think it, it will, she'll go pretty quick. I read it a couple of days. Um, so we have decided, I just want to keep reading it. We're going to go into Wildlands. Then we're going to go into Deadlands. And we can't go over the books right now because she's pending, she's pending reading. Um, and then the last one is, so far, the fourth one, it, I don't know if there's a fifth, is Badlands. And we're going to try to get all those in for December. I, I'm i enjoying it. I really am. I really yeah. like it. I she do. was telling me that um, there's some romance. It's a fantasy. I did ask her um, if it was. sexy business going on, uh, which I always love. We love that. Um, I did ask her if it's like modern world, like now, or if it's, you know, you can kind of explain that. I don't really know. It's kind of like, you know, in fantasy, I always like, for Akatar. 
for example, like I think of it in my head as an older time. You know, mm -hmm. they had, you know, they take their, the, um, didn't she take it? Did Tamlin, um, sent her home in like a carriage, carriage, you know, and not a car. I get that they can winnow and stuff. I always feel there's like a, an in between, like it's like kind of an, like an older era stuck in a modern time sometimes in these fantasy books. And I think this one is a little more of a modern time, but it's still fantasy. Like there, I believe there's a car in here, you know, like, so I think it's a little more up to date with ours, but like, I'm in a fantasy world. I don't really think of it of, as our life. Is it kind of like, um, the maze runner? I do think of it as our world? life. That's how like, I'm picturing it. Anybody that's read or seen well, the maze a, runner? Like she's in jail. She, you know, mm -hmm. so like there is stuff in, it's, that might be a little bit of a, yeah. a, I shouldn't have said that, but you kind of, kind of, if you read the back, you kind of know something's going to happen. I, well, but she goes to prison. So if you think about that, that would be kind of like a time of life that we live in, but yet there is that fantasy base that you kind of are stuck in that fantasy world. I'm yeah. That, I mean, I'm thinking of like Hunger Games or Maze Runner type world, where it's like I an in between. Know. Okay, right. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I scratched her. Um, well, yeah. I mean, that's I don't want to say thinking. in between. Yeah, it's a little me. different because I felt like there is like um, there's like an I believe it was like an SUV or something that comes. The, a motorcycle. Um, so we're not in like an Akatar where I felt like it was, you know, the carriage took Feyre back home in Akatar, and that leads me to believe we're in a different era. But this is a different world. Um, same yeah, with like, like Throne of yeah. Glass. Like, you know, it was the same. Was, there's no cars. They had to take the ship to get there. So those lead me to believe it's a little different. But it's so funny because it's in a very modern esque world sometimes you know that's what we love about fantasy yeah it's just so different and so I would agree with that it still has me in that like kind of different world I feel like I'm not in today's world necessarily always except for like they are in prison and there is a, a motorcycle and an SUV so you do know that I mean there's a train at the beginning um you do know that it's a little more probably current but Still, like I said, it's like in a fantasy world. I loved it. I thought it was really a fun little read. So I can't wait for her to get on it because I'm Soon. I'm dying and I I enjoy it. You know, oh I know what I told you. It's a totally different story, so don't take what I say. It's it's like the same story. But for some reason it reminds me there's aspects of it. I don't know if it's the writing, I don't know if it's um is uh oh gosh, uh, what's our book? Um Rapsodic. Oh, uh, uh, Rapsodic or Rapsodic. Um, by the Laura, Bargainer series. The Bargainer series by oh, Laura Thalassa. We Thalassa. loved that one. If you guys haven't read the Bargainer series, I loved the go Bargainer series. read yes. the Bargainer series. By Laura Thalassa. And I believe she might be even more, I, I don't know. I don't want to say this, but I feel like she might even be more self-published or was and now is. I don't know if she still is, but like. I do want to read her other series, the Horseman, the. <laughs> The horse, the she didn't like the first one I really. Don't care for but the first the, book. the other ones like death, um, so, uh, uh, war, famine, war, fa uh, you keep hitting that. I keep war, this one for famine, time. Uh, but you do like every video. War, famine. Um, it's like it like my feet get. I think a restless leg. <laughs> <laughs> She's just so fancy. She's like ADD. Um, so is my daughter. I think we're both like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but. I don't know. E D D. I do want to read those ones of Laura Thalassa, but if you have not, if you, <laughs> if you have not read the Bargainer series, go read it. Um, it's so good. Now I have a friend that read it and I think she liked it, but it wasn't like how I was like, Ooh, it was really good. So I guess it's like everyone's, I guess what's his name? Uh, oh God. <laughs> what's the guy's name in it? Drew? No. No. Sorry, the D. Desmond. Desmond. Des. <sighs> Matt, okay, for me, oh, this is not even about this, but for, I'm just going to say it real quick. For me, Desmond was up there with Reese, okay? I'm just, all I'm going to say in the Bargainer series, go read it, please. You would like it. Anywho, look how beautiful Savage Lands was really pretty too, but look at the cover. I really wanted to get the hardback, and the only reason I did it because it was going to take too long to yeah. get. <laughs> Hardback, so fan. you know what? I was not at first. If you watch our very yeah. first video, I said I wasn't because it hurts my neck. They do sometimes, yeah. they're so big, but um, I prefer hardback too, and they stay better because these books 
the more I read them, they start to yeah, like, I'm so like on my fan. Savage Land, I put books on top of it to kind of flatten it out, which has helped. But I will, I usually go back and get them in hardcover later. But the reason I didn't get these ones is because I would have had to wait. And I was like, mm -mm, I'm not waiting. Yeah. And I don't have the last book yet. So I just have yeah. the for these next uh, one. Badlands. But it's book by Cece Marie Brown. Yes. So, so far, Danielle has liked. I like it. I do. The series. And I am going to be starting it ASAP. So, yeah. And then we're going to go into um, Sarah has okay so fire and blood is coming out on hbo in uh no the house of the dragon but it's based off this book oh it's not called fire and blood <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, house of dragon yeah whatever it's just it's the is it a prequel it's a yes. prequel to uh, um, game it's of thrones. a prequel to game of thrones and we're game of thrones fans we are um we watched the series we love we've read game of thrones. some we of the very books. sad when it ended <laughs> um Yes, we were very sad. We were well. I was kind of disappointed with the ending, but that's just me. What happens with we'll start a book, but what happens when it becomes a series? And like, if I don't finish it, I'm like, well, why am I going to read it now? I already know what's going to happen, so I get like that. Right. So I stop reading. So it. Um, that's like how I with Outlander too. Um, but it is huge book. But look at how pretty it is, though. All it's all about the Targaryen history. And it is actually, they're my favorite house. So I was very happy to pick this book up. But it is not necessarily a novel of like how Game of Thrones was. This in is the like different sense, stories. Right? Yeah, in the sense of it's one big story. This is just different. It's like short stories. Of, this is 300 years before yes. a Game of Thrones. Dragons so if you, ruled Westeros. So I can see how I read reviews on it. I enjoyed it because I like the Targaryens. Um, but it is a lot of history, um, which could sometimes be boring. But then there were a lot of parts where I was like, ooh, so it's, it's really show. juicy. Um, but it is more short stories of the Targaryens. So it's not just one complete, like you're just reading a complete story, if that makes sense. Um, so you learn about Aegon the Conqueror and his sister wives, which um, if I could get a story, George R. R. Martin, he's getting pretty old. If I can get a story on them alone, I was kind of hoping the new show would be focused on them, but it's not. So maybe we just need a show on them. So, and, I don't know. You can kind of see them right here. Here is Aegon, and then, oh, you know, handsome. his sister. I think this is Visenya, and, and then Rainey's. You know, that story alone of how he was in love with one, but bound to marry the other one which I think he loved both but anyways well, they are his sisters <laughs> <laughs> but you know he married one for love married one keeping for it in the family <laughs> yeah but it is very good I mean the some of the stories are very good um I think we are gonna be learning about in the show about Damon Targaryen which is just a story <laughs> <laughs> you know, I really love the but, show, but there's so many times I'm like, wait, what happened? <laughs> She's yeah. like, said yo, I know was this. And I'm like, so I mean, husband, I don't my even husband know. has no time for my shenanigans. No, I'm he's like, more, yeah. But I don't know. I enjoyed it, but I can see how some people were like, oh, it's not really a story. It's just kind of like short stories. So you learn more about dragons, you learn about the history. Um, so. If I don't finish it, you'll recap us all. <laughs> I love that you're just so blunt about it. If I don't finish no, it. No, this is what happened. I started to audiobook it, but the guy was boring me. It was a guy. Nothing against well, the guy, too, but I didn't like his voice. Yeah, and I've read, I've heard the audiobook. Um, well, the guy reading it, it's not the narr it's not the actual audiobook from Audible um, that the this, it was on YouTube. It was just a guy reading the story for all of us on YouTube. So it had nothing to do with the, the audio book. But yeah, because it's kind of, he's going in, I can see what he was doing. He's kind of going in the direction that it's a maester telling the story of the Targaryen. So what's cool about it is some of it might not even be true, if that makes sense. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. like he's telling his story of the Targaryen. I love how exciting you are. <laughs> I love it. You're like, her eyes uh, are looking at me with light in them. Well, because I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. I was like, oh, this is good. But I can totally see how some people were not, a, you know, 
the favorite. But but if I mean I'm gonna try to get to it, I honestly will. But if I, I mean don't, I can just tell you, you the good juicy it. parts, and then you can, she'll be like, you oh. can be the lead, you can be the guide, you can be the talker. <laughs> it's been two years since I've read it, so maybe I, you need to I have to it. I have to recap on it. But yeah, so that's another one we're gonna do because the series is coming out, and we kind of want to talk about it. Yeah, um, I do we're love Game of Thrones. Doing... And if it, what's it called? Not Fire and Blood. What's it called? Um, House mm. of the Dragon. House of the Dragon. I'm sure I love it because I really did do. I really did love Game of Thrones. I just think I'd rather watch it. Yeah. No, and that's it. I get it because I didn't even finish um, Game of Thrones, the books. Um, it has to really like. I I kind of get bored. With that's what I'm it. saying. That's what happened with me with Outlander. Yeah, I was like, okay, too much history. Outlander. I felt, yeah, I I, I love the books. I read the we read the first three, and I really I, the second book I had a hard time. Oh my gosh! But Snooze I did love the city. the books overall. But there was a lot of like, ugh, there like, was one part in book kind of two that I was like, oh. skip. But yeah, um, but if you might know what that. I'm talking about in Outlander book two. Um, you might know what scene I'm talking about, but. I didn't even hear what you said. I said there's one part in book two mm -hmm. that was really sad. Um, I'm like, mm, you know, do you know what I'm talking about? No. Oh, I'm I watched the series. Um, and then we get to book three, and that one was just like, ooh, that was juicy. Um, baby. Oh, mm -hmm. now I know. Yeah. I was like. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the, it could kind of get a little boring. So anyways, we're adding that in. Yeah. Or she'll tell us. <laughs> and you. Maybe. I could probably love you guys have read it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe they all it's know about book. it. It might be just me. It might. I don't like to be engulfed with lots of information, of useless yeah. information. I, I want. get it. Yeah. There was some simple. parts I'm like, oh, okay. So I probably missed a lot. <laughs> but um, there was some good other good parts. Like so. if you gave me um, the sisters and Aegon, I'd probably read that. That chapter. was juicy. That was such a good story. And then I can story. give my two cents on that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, those are our books for the month of December. We are going to be this. I just was kind of obsessed with Savage Land. So we ha we've said that we want to add a recommendation every month into our to be read books from you guys. We will do that, but I just kind of got a little obsessed. So I told Sarah we have to finish this series. Well, and we wanted to add this one because I think this series starts soon. So... We but we are, we're going to be adding, we really like, because a lot of you guys have given us books and we thought like at least once a month, we'll still choose the books that we've been wanting to get to or want to read, but we're going to add in, um, um, a recommendation from you guys. Yeah. Anyways, that's it. To be read. We're excited. I mean, well, <laughs> tell us if you guys read any. Yes, please do. Anyways, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.